What's up YouTube? I am the Fan of Steel and I wanted to make this quick video for you guys talking about Avengers Infinity War and some information that we have gotten about this. Now, it should be said that all of this that I'm about to say is still 100% rumor at this point. It has not been confirmed by Disney or Marvel or anyone like that. No movie theater chains have confirmed this. But it is out there and it is going around and there is some credibility to it. So I want to just talk about it real quick and give you guys my thoughts about what I think about this information. So basically we are being told now from this little article that is on Reddit basically giving an outline and an overview of several movies and when their advanced ticket sales are supposed to be going out. And for Avengers Infinity War, they have the date as April 2nd. Now, I hear some people that are talking about it and are say, are asking, you know, why is this coming so late? And I want to basically say that, to me, this is great. This is awesome. And what does this tell me? Well, first of all, it tells me that Disney is playing this really smart. Why? Let's think about it. What are we getting March 8th? Well, obviously, we're getting Captain Marvel, all right? And right now, I know that I am seeing a lot of advertisement, a lot of things going out, really pushing Captain Marvel as they should be, and we're not really getting a lot of talk about Inven Avengers Endgame. And really, we shouldn't, because Disney's main focus right now is getting this Captain Marvel movie out there getting as many people out to see Captain Marvel as they possibly can, so they are not wanting to put a lot of attention on Avengers Endgame just yet. Guys, I promise you, as soon as Captain Marvel has had about two weeks in the theaters, we are really going to see the marketing and everything ramp up for Avengers Endgame. I can promise you that. And it's really going to work in the favor for Avengers Endgame because I can guarantee you there are going to be nods and things to Endgame. There's probably going to be some mention to Thanos. We know, um, you know, some of the characters that are going to be featured in Captain Marvel, just like Captain Marvel herself. We've got Nick Fury and we've got Ronan that are going to be in it. And we know that Ronan, of course, is heavily tied to... Thanos, which obviously is going to play at least some part in Endgame. We don't know how big or how small. But right now, their main focus is on getting Captain Marvel out and making as much money as they can on that. So to me, this is telling me that Disney is really pushing very hard to get Captain Marvel out there and do as much as they can with that movie. So more than likely, I honestly do not expect to see a new trailer for Avengers Endgame until probably about the end of March. And I think this is really going to work out well. What I expect to see, again, this is just my expectations. I'm just going, and I'm basing this off of a rumor. I'm going to base this off of this information that we've gotten, and I'm going to assume that it's true that those advanced ticket sales are going to go out April 2nd, which would be about three and a half weeks before Avengers Endgame actually comes out, which I think is plenty of time. That gives Captain Marvel plenty of time to do their full run in the theater, get, you know, really make pretty much all of its money. And then I'm expecting that in Captain Marvel, there are going to be nods and references to Thanos and different events and characters that we know. And then I'm also expecting that more than likely, we will not be getting any trailer for Avengers Endgame, but I think we will probably have a very heavy Avengers Endgame post credit scene. And that is going to get us all hyped up for Avengers Endgame, and then probably towards the end of March, like I said, that's what I'm expecting to see this big, bombastic, huge trailer for Avengers Endgame. You guys, let's think back. Remember when Infinity War was coming out? When we got that awesome, spectacular trailer that everyone remembers for Infinity War. What did that come out around? That dropped, and what immediately happened? Tickets on sale now. 
That was the best move they can make. I have no reason to believe that Disney is not going to be doing the exact same thing. It worked for them in Infinity War. There's no reason why it won't work for Endgame. So that's my thoughts, guys. This is what I'm thinking about this. And honestly, I think this is a great thing. I love it. Three and a half weeks is a perfect amount of time. That's plenty of time to get your advanced ticket sales out there. We know Endgame is going to make a huge amount of money. It's going to be a box office success. And three and a half weeks is more than ample time to sell those advanced tickets. This is going to, don't worry guys, look, I know we're all super excited for Endgame. I know I am super hyped. I am super pumped to see this movie. We're all ready for it and we're all a little bit, you know, scared about what might happen. There's a lot of expectations out there. Let's just remember when we go and see this movie, see the movie for what it is and enjoy it. So that's my thoughts, guys. Captain Marvel. Big post credit scene for Endgame, new trailer at the end of March, and then advanced ticket sales April 2nd, if this is all true. I think it more than likely is. It sounds like a good plan on Disney's part. Thanks for joining me, guys. I am the Fan of Steel. If you like this video, like, comment, and subscribe. And remember, keep geeking out.